fire. You need to try this. So good. Today, we're making classic, traditional buffalo wings, but we're gonna cook them in the oven because we want it nice and fast, we want it easy and not messy, and they are so, so good. Perfect for football Sunday, a fall kickback, or, you know, on a Tuesday night when you just want wings. So, let's get into it. First things first, I'm gonna prepare my baking dish with some parchment paper and a wire rack. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my wings into individual sections just by finding the joint and then slicing through gently. Don't fight with the wing, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and season with my powdered seasoning and some hot sauce, a little bit of whole grain mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, and then we're gonna mix it all together and make sure it's nice and flavorful. Once we've got that part ready, we're actually gonna add in a little bit of baking powder as well. With oven baked wings, this is what's really gonna give it that like really golden brown exterior and make it kind of crispy. The wire rack can get a little sticky, so spray that down with a little avocado oil and then add the wings on top. Once the wings are on top, you're gonna also spray the wings with avocado oil because that's gonna give it, again, a layer of fat to get nice and crispy in the oven and not be soggy because we don't want that. Okay, into the oven it goes. I like to roast these on high, so about 425 on the top rack for about 30 to 40 minutes, flipping halfway through. The cook time is really going to depend on your wing, okay? So make sure you watch the wings. Make sure you watch how they're cooking. You really want those juices to run clear. You want to flip them halfway through and also spray the other, the other side with some avocado spray as well. While the wings are cooking, make your sauce. It's just some melted butter with buffalo sauce and then a little bit of Worcestershire and then mix that all together. Don't let it simmer too long because you don't want the fats and the butter to separate. You just want everything to come together. Once the wings are fresh out of the oven, add them to a big old bowl. And once they're in the bowl, keep them nice and hot and then add that sauce right on top so that everything can really adhere to the wings. Once you have your wings as saucy as you like them, the next thing to do, honey, is to plate it up right plate it up and then serve it with your favorite dipping sauce are you a ranch or blue cheese person with buffalo wings let me know in the comments below for this particular wing i am team ranch because it's just the right thing to do i mean come on it's so flavorful these wings came out really really good i'm super proud of them our wings are done and they look incredible it's all flats for me, baby. That's all I want. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. We're gonna give these babies a nice taste test. So let's see how we did. Y'all know I'm recording. I'm doing two things at once. Y'all already know how that works, okay? So let's get into this taste test. Fire. You need to try this. So good. 